Welcome back to Pokemon Colosseum. In the last part, we came here to Realgum Tower, we defeated Mirabee and Dikim in rematches, and snagged Dikim's Shadow Entei. We've made some good progress and it's time to move on further. And the reason I started here, instead of the room that we ended in the last part, was so that we could appreciate this music for a couple of seconds. As we come in here, the regular cypher kind of theme continues. Okay, looks like we've got another one of these. Wait. No, I didn't think there was anything else down here. They've been known to hide secrets in the past, but looks like there's only one path to take as we go deeper into the desert. Hello. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like we've got some battles ahead of us, but before we do that, something I wanted to cover. Two more nicknames for the team. We now have Loki, the Mistrevious, and Columba, the Ledian. As Ledian is the five-star Pokemon, it was suggested to give it the nickname Cass, short for Cassiopeia, a constellation that has five stars in it. And I liked that idea, but I didn't like the connotations of the name Cassiopeia. The queen from Greek mythology Cassiopeia, for which the constellation is named, was not a very nice person. So I did some research into other constellations that have five stars, and I found Columba. Columba is a constellation with five stars in it, and the Latin word Columba, for which it's named, means dove. Doves are associated with peace, and I think that fits Leddy in a lot better, since he's kind of a peaceful guy, doesn't really want to attack anyone, just wants to help out the team. Mistrevious is quite a trickster, so I went with Loki, the trickster god, but also a bit of wordplay, low-key, as in subtle, because it's a ghost. I'm quite happy with that one, I came up with that one myself. It's about time I did that, really. Okay, so now that's all in order, let's move on. I think we're going to lead with Loki and battle back, and we'll battle you first. Are you looking to get past this door? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a daredevil in you. A little bit. Cypher Peon and Baylor. Let's battle. I was all geared up and ready to get straight back into the rematches, but uh, I guess we'll be dealing with some peons first. Alright, welcome to the battle, Loki, and battle back. Let's uh let's deal with these guys. Ooh. A Shadow Sun Flora. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. I'm not really looking to add any new members to the team at the moment. I'm quite happy with how we're doing at the moment, but... Hmm. How do I want to do this? We'll Shadow with the Jump Luff and Triple Kick the Sunflora. I don't think Battle Back will knock out the Sunflora with just one Triple Kick, but I've been wrong before. Sunny Day, huh? Ooh. That could be a little bit of a problem. I'm pretty sure Sunflora has... Chlorophyll, right? So that should increase its speed. Oh yeah, we're not doing a whole lot of damage to that thing. Oh, that's a really long animation. Thank you for that, game. Ah, and Solar Beam, right. Hmm. You know what? Ho 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 ho! Loki just hanging in there. Okay, right. I could pain split here, but now that that Sunflora has chlorophyll, hmm. Well, if it had chlorophyll, surely that would have activated sooner on that turn, so I should still outspeed this thing. But I'm not going to take the risk. Let's switch out Loki and bring in Columba here. Columba should be able to resist grass type moves very nicely and can put up a light screen to help protect Battleback as well. As for Battleback himself. Earthquake is not going to be particularly effective, but we can always give it a shot and see how much damage it does, because we haven't actually had the chance to use it yet. And this is a combination I was wanting to try out, was actually using it alongside both Mistrevious, or Loki, and Columba. Yeah, that Grass-type move is just going to tickle Columba a little bit. Shouldn't be a problem. So this is not going to hit Jumpluff, but it will hit Sunflora, and we'll see how much it does. Mm, not a massive amount. It is still resisted, but I don't want to hit it with another triple kick because that would probably knock it out. 
Okay, they're really sending everything into Columba right now, which is great. That's exactly how I wanted it to be. So we'll set up a light screen. Battle back. You're not really very useful anymore. Now you've done the damage. So let's bring in... We'll bring in Plusle and get some paralysis out on Sunflora. I'm really enjoying the strategic gameplay now that we have an established team and we have so many different status moves to use. Dual screens is great. And I really like... Having all these different tools like Taunt and Confuse Ray and Thunder Wave. It really makes the game a lot more interesting for me. It's how I've always tried to play Pokemon games and I think I've mentioned that before. I like to play strategic and I like to use a lot of status moves like this. Ingrain, yuck. Hmm, we'll switch Columba out and bring Apollo in. We do need some damage now that Light Screen is out. And let's Thunder Wave Sunflora. These guys really like to heal, huh? Well, that's okay. They're still not doing a whole lot of damage. Plusle's special defense is decent enough, and light screen is really helping out there. And I think I said that if I was going to continue using Plusle, I'd need to put it in a combination that provides it some support. So giving it light screen or reflect with Apollo is going to be exactly what it needs to stay around and get things done in the fight. Uh, okay, let's get rid of Jump Luff because it's annoying. Hmm. I think Apollo outspeeds Plusle, right? So Apollo should attack first with Psybeam, and if that knocks Jumpluff out, Spark won't do anything really to Sunflora. Oh, this trainer actually still has one Pokemon left, so it would just attack whatever's in that slot anyway. So it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I really like thinking about what I'm doing when I'm playing a Pokemon game and not just using the strongest move over and over again. So this game is really... It's really fit the bill for me. Oh, nice critical hit. Good job, Plusle. Okay, that jump left stuck around for a bit longer than it needed to, really. What else do you have? Gloom. Well, that's thoroughly uninteresting and is about to be side beamed in the face. Solar beam again. Ah, that was enough to knock out Plusle. Did our light screen drop? I don't think it did. I guess it was just enough damage. Okay, well, let's bring Artie in. Artie is the uh, final member of the team we haven't used in this battle. Now the sunlight's faded, so at least, uh... At least Solar Beam will take some time to charge up. Sunflora is healing far too much for my liking, so let's hit it with a faint attack. While Apollo blows this gloom away. Yeah, never stood a chance. Bye. Ooh, hoo, hoo, cutting it close there. But, um, we'll call that calculated. Let's use... If I can snag this in a Pokeball, I'd really like that. Because I don't have any timeables, actually. I need to go back and buy those. I think I'll do that immediately after this, actually. Timeables have proven to be quite useful in the more difficult snags, so I'll definitely go back and grab some of those after this fight. Nice, we got it in a Pokeball, that's good. Saving our Ultra Balls too. Alright, well that's that, done. Cypher Peon Baylor defeated. Huh? What do you mean I lost? Why? Well, you ran out of Pokemon. They all got knocked out or stolen, so that means you lose. Those are the rules. And she's gone. Right, well, I'm going to go buy some timables while I remember to do that. <laughs> okay, we're back, and let's see what's through door number one. Looks like a dead end at the end of another one of these. Hello, Venus. Just the person I've been looking for, in fact. You've got the last of the shadow Pokemon we need to snag from these leaders. Ooh, hmm. Right, 
Let's think about how I want to do this. I think Columba could be really useful here because she likes to use attract, doesn't she? We didn't have too much trouble with that before. But Columba coming up with a safeguard at the beginning of the battle could be really useful. And her shadow Pokemon is Suicune, but she's not going to lead with it. So I guess we'll just lead with Apollo and do what we normally do, which is hit everything very hard with Psybeam. Okay, well, let's do this. Oh, well, if it isn't that darling boy and girl, what kept you so long? I'm rather tired of waiting. Now, say your goodbyes. This time, I really am going to be as serious as serious can be. All right, I'm ready for round two with Venus. She has a Mistrevis, nice. And a Bilossum. Right. I'm guessing her strategy is gonna remain at least similar. Dakim's and Mirabee's remained similar, but they had changed and they got new Pokemon. So, I'm guessing she's still going to try and attract. Hmm. Mistrevis is a ghost type. Let's try and get rid of it quickly. And I'm going to use Safeguard with Columba. Apollo's still the fastest on the board. To be expected. Some decent damage as well. Confuse Ray. Ugh. It's a little unfortunate that she outsped Letty in there. Because Safeguard would have prevented that. Columba just can't get a break, huh? Ah, uh, and there's a tract. That is really inconvenient. And they really focused Columba as well, so it's going to be even harder for me to get this Safeguard out. I'm still going to try to do it, though. While Apollo fires away with the side beams. Taunt. Please don't taunt Columba. Oh my goodness, Columba just can't get a break. Here I am, <laughs> really trying to implement my strategy. Ah, man. Well, Columba, you tried. Let's switch you out. Let's put in Artie. If there's someone else who can deal with attract, it's Artie with taunt. I'm worried a little bit about speed, but hopefully that won't be a problem. Good to have Apollo and Artie side by side again, though. And Mistrevis is done. Right, so we had the same issue with Suicune as we did with Entei the first time around, which was it getting knocked out by a critical hit earthquake from its own teammate. A Raichu, huh? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But it looks like they might try something a little different this time. Poison. Ha. <laughs> Synchronize. I love it. So what's this Raichu gonna do? Apollo, get in there with another Psy Beam. And let's taunt this Blossom to see if we can stop it causing more trouble. The last thing I want is for it to attract Apollo. Ha! <laughs> Those Raichu animations are really good. Thunder Wave. Well, again, Synchronize is great, so I'm not too bothered about this. She really likes to play an avoidance strategy though, doesn't she, with attraction and paralysis. Nice. Good job, Artie. That's exactly what I wanted to see from you. Let's see if we can do it again on Raichu. Let's see if we can get through the paralysis as well and blow it away. In fact, you know what? No sense in, um, ooh, Artie moving first. Does he have the quick claw? I gave it to Plusle, right? Strange. Oh, it's because Apollo is paralyzed. That's right. That always catches me out. Paralysis lowers your speed by half. Well, we got rid of Raichu, which is good. Blossom is still taunted for now. She should have one more Pokemon other than her Suicune. Wigglytuff. Hello. Okay, well, that's going to be a pain as well, isn't it? How do I want to do this? I definitely want to taunt it if I can. 
You know what? I trust Artie to be able to hold on one more turn before I heal him. So let's see what he can do with another taunt. See what we're denying from Wigglytuff. Probably attract again if I would have to guess. Hey, your taunt ran out already? That's annoying. Uh, Apollo doesn't care. Apollo's got his mind set on the goal. Okay. While well, Artie's getting a little low on health here, the poison is not helping. I think, maybe, we could bring in Loki here. Wait, no, not for Apollo. Let's have Apollo continue to attack. Let's attack Blossom. Try and get that out of the way. And let's bring in Loki here. Rest up, Artie. You've earned it. You've done well. Blossom throwing out Sludge Bomb again. Really likes to use that. It's odd that it's not using any Grass-type moves, really. I guess it just wants to get that poison, as well as doing damage. Ha! It doesn't affect Loki! Ah, but there's the attraction coming in again. Hmm. Actually, for the first time. I say again. It was for the first time. And I think... Psybeam does more damage than Shadow Ball. Let's find out. Well, I suppose we're not really going to get a good sample here, but theoretically Shadow Ball should do more damage because we have the spell tag. Oh, critical hit. That's going to do it. Because we have the spell tag and the um, same type of attack bonus boosts its power as well, it should do more damage than Psybeam, but I think the difference between Mistrevis' attack and special attack is really what's doing it. Oh, there's Shadow Suicune. Hmm. Ah, no, Apollo. I was just thinking we might need to heal up Apollo or switch him out. But actually, let's bring in Battle back. We're doing quite well. The team has been pushed. But we still have a few members left. So let's see what Battle back can do here with a triple kick. Let's see if we can get rid of Wigglytuff. Well, Loki, let's see what you can do. Let's just scout for damage with Shadow Ball. Suicune is a little lower level than everything else because it can't level up because it's a Shadow Pokemon. And it seems that they don't want to have the same thing happen as has happened before. I guess it's kind of a game balance thing where they want to try and prevent you from getting Suicune, Raikou, and Entei earlier in the game because it might make the game too easy, which is why they have Pokemon using things like Earthquake to try and knock them out so you can't snag them. Good job, Battleback. But then they don't do that the second time around because you're getting towards the end of the game and there's more challenge in using them because they're lower level. Plus they take a really long time to purify. So I think it's a kind of a game balance thing that they're going for here. Right, let's triple kick you. That probably won't knock you out. And we'll switch Loki out. You've done a good job, but it's time to bring in Plusle. Get that paralysis out. You can keep on surfing, but I'm afraid it's not really great weather for it. It's the middle of winter. Well, I suppose we're in the middle of a desert here in the game, so <laughs> a little bit of water wouldn't be... Too bad. Alright, triple kick, how are you going to do? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. Hmm. Probably don't need battle back in the battle anymore. Unless I want to earthquake, but that would mean switching Plusle out. So let's switch battle back out and bring <laughs> Loki back in. Or maybe even... Let's bring in Columba. See if Columba can take a hit here. And we'll paralyze... Suicune. I want to see if I can get Light Screen up, just to mitigate some of the Surf damage. I'm not sure if Columba will be able to take this hit, but maybe. Oh, Shadow Rush, that is not what I expected. But it attacked Plusle, that's okay. Plusle can take those hits. That works out a little bit better, actually, than it using Surf. Okay, good stuff, Plusle. That's what I like to see. I'm really enjoying using the whole team in these fights. Light screen, and I suppose we'll switch Plusle out and we'll bring 
We'll bring Loki back in. I think Loki will be just the ticket to doing the right amount of damage here. Plus, we have Pain Split to manage Suicune's health if it gets too low. Yeah, I'm really enjoying using the whole team, using all these strategy moves. It's really a unique experience in a Pokemon game. I found myself wishing that double and triple battles were more part of the main series games. But this game really fits that niche for me. Alright, let's give Comet Punch a go. I'm really not worried about knocking this thing out, actually. Hmm. But it might just be... It might be just enough damage. Okay. Loki? Don't knock this thing out, please. Perfect. That is... Perfect. Yep, Comet Punch probably would have knocked it out. Maybe not, I mean. Our poor Ladian doesn't have the most attack. Oh, goodness, no, please stop using Shadow Rush. Oh, no, not this again. Come on, Timer Ball. Now is the moment. Um, hmm. Can you tell I'm being stingy with healing items? This has got to work, because if it uses Shadow Rush again, we're done for. Yes! <laughs> Woo. Very almost, very painful deja vu there. Well, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, you can leave. I got what I came here for. Me? Lose again? My pride will not stand for it. Here, take this thing away. For this, I want your silence that this battle never happened. Thank you for the blue ID badge. I shall forget that I ever battled with you. Yes, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Bye, Venus. Oh, right. I was wondering what that was for a second. It's the poison on Artie, isn't it? Hmm. Should be able to get back to the healing point without too much trouble, though. Man, I forgot for a moment, actually, that um, poison affects Pokemon out of battle in Generation 3. It's been such a long time. All right, then. Looks like we have one more battle ahead of us. We've beaten Dakim, Mirabi, and Venus. So I'm guessing... Would you a rematch with Ayn, even though we just battled him? That's going to be interesting, especially as we already snagged his shadow Pokemon. I'm interested to see how the battle will change. But first, this guy's in our way. Oh yeah? So you're telling me you think you'll knock me out of the way? Yes. Huh. <laughs> you'll know right away, if that's possible, by battling me. Well, what else were we going to do? Have a fist fight? Though, to be fair, I think Wes would probably win. Arten. Pile of Swine and Delibird. Okay, well, can't say I'm particularly afraid of Delibird. Oh, we still have Columba out front. Hmm, not sure this is really his best matchup. Oh, a Shadow Delibird. Well, it can't be a Shadow Pilot Swine since we've already found one. Well, that's not completely thrilling, but I suppose... Well, like I said, it can't be a Shadow Pilot Swine. I don't know. I know I'm using a Ledian and a Mistrevious, and I've tried to challenge myself to use Pokemon that I haven't used before and that are considered not particularly great. But I think Delibird is pushing it even for me. Hmm. Nice damage, Apollo. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> that animation is so good, though. It's taken the hearts out of its bag. I love that. Ah, the rare occasion we get to see Pilot Swine's eyes. I think its animated sprite in Black and White and Black and White 2 um, has it reveal its eyes like that, but before that, we hadn't really seen that in the main series. It's funny to know that it was actually in this game the whole time. Hmm. Delibird is quite squishy. Let's hit it with a return and scout for how much damage we're doing, and Battleback can deal with Pilot Swine. Ooh, yeah, that takes a lot of damage. Psybeam could have just knocked that thing right out. 
Well, it's flown away, but Battleback is immobilized by love. Ugh. Get that mud shot out of here. Gross. Well, that's a little inconvenient. Hmm. Let's... It's probably going to fly Battleback, right? And Battleback is faster than it, so there's not really much he can do this turn. Let's detect. If attraction will let us. Yes. Nice. Aha! Correctly predicted. Just a little bit more strategy to have on the team. Why did I return the Pilot Swine? I should have side beamed it. Oops. Man, that mud shot animation is disgusting. But I suppose it's supposed to be. It's a mud shot. Alright, let's actually side beam this thing, because I'm not sure whether we'll knock it out or not. And. You know what? We'll use agility. I'm buying time here. I want to see what this trainer brings out in the other slot once we knock out Pilot Swine. So, Battleback can speed himself up this turn. While we knock out the Pilot Swine. And we'll see what it brings out. I suppose I could have just triple kicked into that slot and gotten some damage out, unless it was a ghost type, but probably not. Glalie, okay. Shadow Glalie would have been cool, actually. Right, okay. Um. Yeah, okay, we'll go swift, because I've been... Apollo's had his speed lowered twice, so maybe Delibird outspeeds him now. And we'll triple kick Glalie. Still in love with the Delibird, though. It's okay, we'll get rid of it sooner or later. Really, again, it only hits once. <sighs> oh, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Earthquake. This is actually really interesting to see this peon using strategies that Venus and Dakim have both used in the past. I like that a lot, actually. Alright, how much damage is Swift going to do? Nothing to Glalie, but how much is it going to do to Delibird? A critical hit. <laughs> Well, that puts it in a good position to start snagging it. And as for Glalie... Let's... Reflect... And triple kick. Still infatuated, though. If we don't knock this thing out, it might Earthquake, and that's why I don't want to switch Plusl in this turn. But we got rid of it, nice. Good stuff, Battleback. You're gonna fly again, that's a little annoying. But it's not too much of a problem. Apollo... With Reflect Up should be able to take a hit. As will Battleback, most likely. But I think we'll switch... Hmm, we can't snag it this turn. You know what, we'll do a double switch. We need to, um, we need to buy time anyway. So let's bring in Artie. As a nice full health bar. And plus all for Paralysis. So I guess we won't get to see Loki in this fight. And we switched out Columbo on the first turn. But um, that's okay. It's not too much of a problem. Yeah, that's not going to hurt at all. Okay, let's just taunt you, I suppose. And Thunder Wave. You know what? Let's just try and snag it. Let's throw a Pokeball at this thing. And if that fails, at least we can paralyze it and have a better chance the next time. We got plenty of Pokeballs. Nope. Well, okay. You would have to be the tricky one, wouldn't you? That is such a good animation. That is my favorite thing I've seen in this game in terms of animation. Oh, don't you. Let's try this again. Why is it Delibird's mission to be the most annoying thing in the game? I wouldn't mind if it was good, but it's not. 
This is ridiculous. Now I can't do anything this turn. Ah! Why? Why are you like this? Okay. We'll get it this time, I'm sure. Are you kidding me? I'm not using an Ultra Ball on a Della Bird. It's not happening. I'm not wasting my Ultra Balls. And now I'm faster than it. Oh, that was the quick call, wasn't it? No. Come on, fifth time's the charm. Oh my... Della Bird, I have things I need to do today. I can't sit here throwing balls at you all day long. Yeah, we got the paralysis. <laughs> ah, that's a victory in and of itself. And then it just flies away again, so I can't throw a ball at it. I have great difficulty believing that Della Bird's catch rate is this low. I feel like I've just gotten really unlucky. Yes... No, you! Don't you knock yourself out with Shadow Rush. Don't you dare. Please. Oh my god. It's gonna knock itself out, isn't it? Fine! I didn't need you anyway! Get out of here! Waste of my damn Pokeballs! Ah! Uh, I shouldn't have battled! Yeah, I shouldn't have battled you either! Ugh! I'm guessing Iron is through here then, huh? Well, that looks promising, but I'm guessing Ayn is off to the right. We have... The red, green, and blue ID badges. We don't have the yellow one yet, or gold, I suppose? So we're gonna need to go take that, presumably, off of Ayn in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.